Brian Muskimans here in the COIN Pinpoint Weather Center. Thanks so much for checking out your forecast here at COIN to local6.com. Saturday was one of those days where, depending on what part of town you're in, depending on what kind of weather you got, everybody started out sunny and gorgeous. However, in Beaverton, especially points west of the I 5 corridor, we had some showers, even some thunder showers pass over, developed right about 245. And we're gone by 315 and then moved north into Clark and Cowlitz County. So, really impressive when you consider that uh, we were just so warm and balmy yesterday that we had some cooler ocean air beginning to move in and interact with some of that warmer air we've seen. And daytime highs definitely reflecting that cooler air. 81 in Portland, 71 though down the valley in Eugene, where the ocean air really rushed in a lot more quickly. 93 though still in Medford, so still a toasty day over there. And east of the Cascades, everybody there, 80s and 90s in general, 91, one of the warmer spots there. In the Dalles. Now, live 3D pinpoint Doppler on the Saturday evening. There's that band of showers that, and thunder showers that worked up the I 5 corridor and basically McMinnville up through Ridgefield and, and then headed on into the uh, Cascades of Washington. But really, just quick hitting thunderstorms and then they were gone. And we can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm or two over the next few hours on our Saturday night. But overall, this trough of low pressure really opening the door to much cooler air that's going to start moving in. In fact, this trough of low pressure, that one back there opens the door for this one. And this is a very strong, almost fall-like storm that's moving in out of the Gulf of Alaska. And as we go into Sunday night and Monday, this system is going to slam right into the Pacific Northwest. As it does so, we're going to end that 50-day dry streak in a big way. In fact, I'll show you more on that here in a minute. Let's walk you through your Sunday, though, first. There are those clouds as we go through the morning, some patchy drizzle as well. Go through the afternoon, could see a few sun breaks, but then I'm going to take you to Sunday night and watch. There's that storm on approach right off the coast, and then I'm going to put this into motion. The bulk of the rain falls during the overnight hours. However, as we go into the Monday morning commute, if you get up early and have to commute in early, you may be using those windshield wipers, so a good chance to tomorrow to make sure they're in good order because you may need them very well, especially if you commute early Monday. Then it's off to clear skies again once we get into Tuesday. I think Monday remains mostly cloudy overall, but then Tuesday afternoon we should see some good sun breaks and then really warming up quite nicely as we go into Wednesday. And if you're heading out on your Sunday to the Savi Island Pumpkin Patch, the Portlandia Maze open all month, 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. 70 degrees, so that's going to be our high in the afternoon. So, really, a far cry from where we were just two days ago on Friday and Thursday when we were in the 90s. Now, out along the coast on your Sunday, a few showers in the morning. Otherwise, the steady rain holds off until after sunset. 60 for Seaside, 57 for Newport. Patchy drizzle, otherwise mostly cloudy skies for the I 5 corridor. 73 for Eugene, 67 for Kelso. Flying over to the east side of the state, temperatures there cooling as well into the 70s and low to mid 80s. Warmer the further east you go. Mostly sunny skies, and it will be breezy, especially in the afternoon. Because of that, you guys have a red flag warning up for Sunday and morning, Monday for very high fire danger. In the gorge, morning clouds on the west end, and then west winds really kicking up, especially as we go into the afternoon for Hood River and Points East. So that Highway 141 fire could definitely kick up again in the afternoon. Gusts up to 45 miles per hour possible. In the Cascades, the big change there tomorrow strong west winds, but also cooler air moving in. 60 at government camp, you were near 80. Today and that freezing level lowering to 9,000 feet in the afternoon. Here in the metropolitan area, out the door in the morning, upper 50s, 71 in the afternoon downtown. Patchy morning drizzle, afternoon sun breaks. Otherwise, 71, one of the warmer spots there in Lake Oswego. But 69 to 70 degrees is about all we're going to do for much of the area basically tomorrow. So some afternoon sun breaks possible, but also, as I mentioned, can't rule out some of that patchy drizzle. 69 as well for Scappoose and Salmon Creek and Battleground. 71 in the afternoon for St. John's. Out the door in the morning, some patchy drizzle definitely possible. And 57 degrees. And then as we go through the day, we'll see some sun breaks, but still mostly cloudy skies overall with a high temperature there of 70 degrees. Now, that overnight rain Sunday into Monday that turns to showers on Monday morning, and then we should see some afternoon sun breaks. 67 is all the better we're going to do there. 73 on Tuesday, gradually clearing skies. Here comes that warmer air moving back in. 80 for Wednesday. Morning clouds, but check out those morning lows. It's going to be in the 40s out the door. So it'll bundle up on Wednesday morning, but we should warm up to near 80 in the afternoon. Close to 90 for Thursday. I believe we top 90 on Friday and then back into the 80s as we head into Saturday. And the whole second half of the coming week does look mostly sunny with uh, very summer-like temperatures. Thanks so much for checking out your forecast here at coinlocal6.com.